myself santosh rathod assistant professor from department of information technology so in this video we will be dealing with the introduction to the arduino ide in this section i will tell you about the arduino ide but before we jump into that first of all we need to understand what an ide an ide is a text editor like a notepad along with the compiler which is a bare requirement to start coding but what the compiler is a special program that processes statement written in the programming language and then turns them into a machine language which are basically the zeros and ones which a computer can understand but unlike text editor an ide which stand for the integrated development environment is a software tool which has a lot more functions to make programming easier for the user it has a built in text editor and compiler along with easy to use tools menus and buttons to compile run debug analyze and save the program considering arduino they have one official ide which has buttons to verify and upload the sketches they also have easy to use menus to select board and board throughout this video we will be using the official arduino ide okay. for this we will be going through the details uh, the installation steps of the arduino ide okay so first we will go through the downloading process of the arduino ide and what are the first initial requirement of this ide okay so to install the arduino ide and to work on that one we need a arduino board preferably we have can select any of the versions of the arduino uh, board which we have uh, discussed in the prior videos okay so we can go with the arduino uno or arduino nano okay or the lily pad any any of the versions and apart with the arduino uh, board we also need a usb cable for connecting the board to the computer system next step 2 is to download the arduino ide software so here we can uh, visit the www.arduino.cc okay to the website of the arduino and in that on software section we can download the latest arduino ide for the, a computer operating system okay so there are various versions of the windows mac and the linux system okay and at the download page we have to click on the windows install option for that previous installation then once that is getting downloaded then we have to save the .exe file okay okay and once and then we have to open the .exe file which will execute that one and that the arduino ide will get installed in the system so for that we have to click on the the licensing agreement button okay so the next step is to select all the options you get here it's preferable that you that you select all the options here for the installation okay and then click on the next button okay then you have to select the desired folder or the directory where the id has to be inserted okay then you have to click on the install button next and then this will take a couple of minutes to get the installation steps done okay so here it will take a couple of minutes to get this installed next after getting after getting the installation done we have to power up the board so you have to connect the usb cable to your arduino board and your pc okay so uh, here the arduino uno uh, the mega uh, or the different uh, versions okay 
draw power from either the USB connected to your computer or you can also provide any external power supply. Suppose if you are using an Arduino a different version, then you have to make sure that the board is configured to uh, draw power from the USB connection. Okay. So uh, the power source selected with a jumper, a small piece of plastic that fits onto uh, the two of the three pins between the USB and the power jack. Okay. So in that case, you have to check that uh, uh, it is uh, it is on the two pins closest to the USB port. Okay. So now you have to connect the Arduino board to your computer using the Arduino cable. Okay. And once you connect the green power LED. Okay, which should be labeled as PWR should glow. That means that your board is powered on. Okay. Then next uh, we have uh, is the uh, launching the Arduino IDE. Okay. So after the installation is done, uh, a shortcut uh, to the Arduino IDE would be created on a desktop. Like as you can see here in the screen, it's uh, on the uh, bottom left corner, the Arduino IDE. Just try to double click on that one and it will launch the Arduino IDE. Okay. Now we'll go to the next step. The next step is to open our first project. Okay. So once your so uh, once the software starts, the ID starts, then we have two options to create a new project and or to open an existing project. Okay. So here, as you can see, uh, we have like the both the options available here. Okay, uh, in this uh, uh, slide. So you heard the initially it would be like the blank one, or else you can uh, you can uh, drop in the already preloaded project, which can you can uh, go through the file. Okay, you can go through the new one. Or you new one, you can create a new project, or you can select from the examples as well. Okay, so here is the uh, the first project. So here we have taken into consideration the already preloaded uh, prefetched project here. So you can create the new, uh, going to the new one, or you can go to the examples and you can create, uh, you can select the uh, the basic uh, LED blinking uh, program as well, just for a demonstration. Okay. And then next, uh, we have to select the Arduino port. Okay. So to avoid any error while uploading the program to the board, uh, we must select the correct Arduino board name. Okay. Uh, which would match with the board that is connected to our computer. So here uh, we have selected as the Arduino, you know, it would it will totally upon you that which board you are setting. You can also, if you have been using a uh, uh, Arduino Leonardo or the uh, Arduino Micro, whichever version, then you have to select that board accordingly. For that, you have to uh, go to the tools uh, uh, menu uh, menu option and then you have to select on the boards and then you have to select with the uh, appropriate board that you are using. So here in case we are using the Arduino Uno board. Next uh, step is to select the serial port. Okay. So we have to select the serial uh, device of the Arduino board. For that we have to navigate to the tools option and then you have to select the serial port menu. Okay. Uh, this is likely to be the com 3 okay we can say or it, it could be higher but we are but uh, most of the time it would be like com 3 port would be there okay or higher 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 uh, could be available there and to find out that you uh, find out you can disconnect your Arduino board and you can reopen the menu uh, the entry that disappears should be uh, the Arduino board okay so you can just check like which port, which uh, port is uh, you know what compatible to your Arduino which is uh, uh, using that one so you can just uh, uh, disconnected and again you can uh, connect that one so like the one that gets disappeared and that, that you can confirm that way and then you can reconnect the board and select the serial port okay so here in this case uh, we have selected as the com3 uh, as the port okay uh, next uh, we next step uh, that's uh, the uh, uploading the program to our board Okay, so like once we have done with the program, okay, like creating a new project or you can select with the uh, already a prefetched project, you can see uh, the basic project. Okay, and then the next step is to like how we can upload the program to our, uh, to the board. Okay, so here this is the uh, detailed description of the, uh, uh, the menus that are on the Arduino IDE, the one uh, that is specified by A uh, is used to check uh, if there is any 
complication uh, compilation error uh, then the next one is the b uh, this uh, menu is used to upload a program to the Arduino board then we have the uh, uh, the one that is uh, uh, labeled by C, uh, which is like shortcut used to create a new sketch. Okay, and then we have the D uh, and the E, which is used to directly open uh, uh, one of the example sketch. Okay, so we can use the we can open the pre uh, the preloaded uh, example sketch, uh, and the E is used to save your sketch also. Okay, and then we have the one that is labeled by F. Uh, is the serial monitor used to receive the serial data uh, serial data from the board and send the serial data to uh, data to the board? So that's used for the serial communication. Okay. okay. So after this is done, then we can simply click on the upload button in the environment. Then we can wait for a few seconds and we can see the uh, the the uh, the uh, the LED that is. Uh, uh, specified as RX and TX on the board uh, would be flashing. Okay, and if this uh, if the upload is successful, the message done uploading will appear in the status bar. Okay, which will go on the uh, to the next uh, step. Uh, then this is the uh, particular structure uh, of the uh, uh, the Arduino IDE. Okay, so here uh, this will contain. Uh, 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 the Arduino program, like which can say, we can say, like it can be divided into three main parts: the structure, uh, the values, which would be a variable and constant, and the function. Okay, so you can we can explore more on that one: the structure, values, and the functions. Like this, more of the embedded C that we can learn uh, to program the Arduino board. So Arduino programming is based on the C concept, wherein you can learn about the uh, the data types, the variable and constants, the operators, the control statements, the loops, uh, the functions, the strings, uh, then the string objects, times, arrays, uh, then the input output functions, uh, and and other other concepts as well. Okay, so this is the typical structure. So here we'll start with the structure. So this software structure consists of two uh, two main functions: the setup uh, and the Loop, as you can see here, into the uh, the Arduino ID uh, consists of the setup and the the loop. The purpose of the setup is to uh, like this function is called when a sketch uh, starts. Okay, so it is used to initialize initialize the variables, uh, the pin modes, uh, the and it also starts using the libraries. Okay. Uh, the and apart from that, when what point we can add on is the setup function will only run once each power up, uh, uh, like after each power up or reset of the Arduino board. Okay, and uh, it also has the input, output, and the return also. Then the next uh, we have uh, uh, the next uh, uh, main function is the loop. Okay, so this purpose of the loop is like after creating a setup function. Uh, which initializes and sets the initial values. The loop function does precisely uh, what uh, what we can say as its name suggests, uh, and it loops consecutively. Like suppose if you are working on a project wherein you want that uh, uh, the like suppose the blinking of the lid, we can say wherein you can uh, uh, you want that lid to blink after a particular interval of time or particular uh, interval of second, then you can put that into the loop. So it would allow your program to change and uh, respond. Okay, so it is used to actively control the Arduino board. Uh, then uh, we uh, you can explore more of the Arduino uh, the Arduino ID by referring to the examples that are listed here, which are prefetched here. Okay, uh, how that works? Then next uh, we'll just take in one example of the lead blinking. Okay. So here, uh, what we can uh, we can just uh, uh, go to the file uh, file menu and then you can select the uh, the blink example, okay? And then uh, it will uh, select the blink. So you have to navigate to the files and examples and the basic and the blink, okay? And then next we can select the type of the Arduino board that we are using. So we have to again go to the tools, then we have to select the board and the uh, Arduino Uno. We have to select. The board, like for for our case, we have selected the Arduino Uno here. Okay. 
Okay, so after selecting the board, uh, the next step is the uh, Yeah. Okay. The other the board, we have to select the serial or the form port that our Arduino is attached to. So we have to navigate to the tools and then to the uh, the ports, and then we have to select the com uh, com port. Okay. So here in our case, it's uh, for example, we have taken the uh, the com eleven. Okay. So with your boards, uh, with your Arduino boards connected, and the next step, uh, uh, we can see like after connect, after connect, after selecting the com port, uh, the with uh, the Arduino board connected and the blink sketch is open. Then you have to press the upload button, okay, with the right, uh, with the arrow facing towards the right, okay. That would upload your code after compiling and then verifying, okay. And then after a second, uh, you should see some LED flashing on your Arduino followed by the message done upload. So after your uh, uh, the uh, the compilation done successfully and it run, then you can see in the black window at the uh, bottom side that it will done uploading and in the uh, status bar of the blink sketch. Okay, and you can see the LED blinking here uh, uh, on your Arduino board. So here I couldn't cover up the entire simulation uh, of the. Uh, Arduino here, uh, but we can just go through this one how actually it would work with the help of a simulator. Thank you everyone for your patience listening. Thanks.